Hey guys, welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. I'm Mike, and these are GVM's 50RS RGB LED studio lights. Uh, they're a great, affordable, budget-friendly, app-controlled RGB studio light that you may want to add to your kit. All right, welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for showing up. My name's Mike, and we look at a lot of cool gadgets here on Unbox Warehouse. We have a lot of fun stuff, so check out some of the previous videos. And if it looks like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. We're growing fast, and we'd like you to join the club. But today, the star of the show is GVM's um, RGB lights. These are the 50RS RGB lights. They are truly a budget-friendly light. Um, I use one in all my videos now. It it acts as a practical light here. Um, one of the great things is you can connect two lights together, but we'll go over that in a minute. Um, before we get into how I like to use these lights and how they may benefit you in your filmmaking career, um, let's go over some specifications. The GVM 50RS RGB is a Wi-Fi enabled LED panel with 384 diodes. It can produce white light at about 6,500 lux at half a meter. And it has a temperature range from 3,200 to 5,600 Kelvin. It's capable of producing thousands of colors using hue and saturation of the RGB LEDs. They're powered by an included 50 watt DC power adapter that puts out 15 volts at four amps. But also it can run for about four to six hours using two Sony MPF batteries that are not included. The body of these lights are made of aluminum and feel very high quality, all while maintaining a relatively low weight of just over four pounds. The aluminum chassis allows for fanless cooling, keeping the RS50s completely silent. The lights come out of the box with barn doors already installed and are easily mounted to the quality included light stands. So the 50RS RGB lights have some impressive specs, but let's go over kind of the quality of construction here. So it does have this very nice light stand, all your controls on the back with two spots for those Sony batteries. Um, then there's a power switch. The power switch uh, is either for the batteries or the included power adapter. It doesn't come with the batteries, but um, it can only do one or the other. So one of the things is you cannot charge these batteries by plugging this in. So you need to charge those separately, but that's a great option if you're gonna take these lights out to a shoot somewhere to a field and you don't wanna carry around extension cords and these power plugs. So they will run for like four to six hours based on these batteries. Um, you do have two control knobs here for your brightness or your intensity. And this one on the right hand side, uh, adjust your hue and menus. It's also a click button. This one is not a click button, but the one on the right is a click button. So you can change different menus by clicking in there. Now, these do have Wi-Fi and they are able to master and slave. So right now I have this one set up as the master and that one set up as the slave. So whatever this one does, that one does. So if I change something here, um, it's gonna change over there, but it does have about a second delay. So remember that when you're filming, because if you change something on the app, the lights are gonna change at a little bit different time, but it does catch up after about a second. So the GVM RS50s do come with these included pre-installed barn door covers, which are very convenient to handle spillage. Um, they're not really good at focusing the light because this isn't a very strong light. It's already kind of diffused because each one of these LEDs is putting out light at about 120 degrees. So this light is kind of already wide and diffused um, prior to coming out of the LED. So these barn doors are a good addition. Now the older ones did have uh, metal doors, but the way they attached, they had a lot of light leakage from the side. I think uh, Mr. Gerald Undone kind of pinged on that. Um, but the, they seem to have solved that problem. There's minimal light leakage here from the side of these barn doors, but they are hard to pull off if you want to put on diffused um, options. You have to remove different kinds of screws. Another thing is um, when you tilt this thing back in the yoke, the barn doors do hit the side of the yoke. Luckily, you can mount this um, if you want to angle them down more, you can mount these yokes out forward and then you have more control. So this is a dual mounting option with the yoke. So it does solve that problem and gives you full control of those barn doors. 
Now these RGB lights do come with some diffuser panels. It's actually a two part diffuser. Um, this first one just kind of drops into this notch here on top. Um, but they don't really diffuse that much. As you can see, you can still see each LED uh, very clearly, even with the diffuse panel in. These kind of translucent plastic um, diffusers don't diffuse that much, so I don't like to use them. Also, if you want to use this, you need to pull off these barn doors to attach this to the front. But you can see it does diffuse the light um, better using two of these. This one's offset by about four inches. Um, but for what I use them for, like a practical light, um, I prefer not to have any diffusion in there, but it is there as an option included in the package. Now, speaking of the package, they do sell these individually, but if you get this um, dual light kit, like I got both of these, it comes with this great case. This thing is so, really nice. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I love this case. You show up to a shoot with this case, look, it's got individual pockets in it for your light stands, for your, each light goes here. Um, it's really, really a great quality case. And if you're looking, to have a professional look and feel when you show up to do client work. Um, you show up with this, people are gonna know you mean business. So if you up for the two light kit, it's actually less money and you get a gorgeous case and these light stands included. So it's a great value. I'm gonna have a link below to these, um, but you can buy one individually if you only need one, but I suggest getting two because they slave together, they work together. Um, you get more value for your money. And it comes in at just under $400. So to have an app controlled RGB studio lighting system for under 400 bucks is an unbelievable bargain. Now, just to prove that I really do love these lights, if you go look at my last three or four videos. Um, this one has made a permanent appearance here in my studio. I love the way it looks. It creates a nice little hair light. I can change the color. I kind of have the red and blue theme all the time going. Um, so these things are part of my kit now. You will see them in all my videos. Um, that's where it belongs. It's a really, really great system and I use it myself. Now, one of the kind of quirky things about the 50RS RGB lights is these knobs back here, which have an arrow on them, like they kind of point to something, um, they spin freely. You can keep spinning them forever. Um, so that arrow really does nothing. It says min and max for the brightness, but literally it is on, we'll put it on 100%. So the light is on 100% now, and I can put that dial right on minimum. It's still at 100% until you roll it counterclockwise to lower it down. Um, so those markings are just for show. Now it's kind of funny, but it doesn't really hinder the use because you can still set this thing to any hue, saturation, or brightness that you want adjust your color temperatures with those knobs just fine. Me, I prefer using the app and we'll go over that in just a second. Now, one more quirky thing is when you turn these off and then you turn them back on, they always come on white. Not that big a deal because you just tap in on that button right there and they go back to whatever color you were on before, but it is a little bit of a pain, but you'll get over it. Um, for the price, you know, you're gonna deal with a couple little quirks and that just happens to be one of them. Maybe they can fix those with some kind of software update in the future. All right, another thing is, is when you adjust the hue, it goes in increments of five. So it's not as accurate. Uh, you can't go by one degree out of the 360 degrees of the color wheel. You can only go by five. So 185, 190, 195, 200. Uh, that's how it works. Um, so you're kind of limited to about 72 different full RGB hue colors. Now you can adjust those with the saturation mode, which is also in 5% increments and get a, a thousands of different combinations as you start to bleed in that white light with the RGB LEDs. All right, now one thing I wanna go over is this very simple app. I love that they didn't try to wedge too many features in here and make this unusable. It's super simple. It's got three sliders and a color wheel. So I, I it, when you start putting in too many things into these apps, 
these are lights. Like, what do I need to do? I need to adjust the color, the temperature, the hue, the saturation. That's it. So that's all they've put into this app. You can also, right now, this one's on channel zero. This one's on channel zero. Uh, actually, this one is the master and this one is the slave. So this one's going to copy whatever this does. Now, right here on the color wheel, I can just select a color. Um, the lights will change shortly after. Uh, the great thing is, is you can change the hue saturation on this dial, add in more white light. Um, you can change the brightness all the way up to full 100%. Now, the good thing is when you use the knob, you get 5% increments on the saturation, but on the app, you can actually get 1% uh, increments. Um, unfortunately, the color wheel still jumps in 5% increments, so you're always going to be stuck with those 72 color options. But for this price point, once again, not that big a deal. You're going to be able to find the color that you like. You may not just be able to match a color exactly, but you'll be able to get within five degrees on the color wheel from the color you're interested in, which is close enough. Blue, green, red, fuchsia, whatever, you're going to find it. Now, they do have some built-in scenes like most LED lights do. So you have um, lightning, cop car, if you want to look like a cop car, candlelight, TV, bad bulb. So this makes it look, you know, if you were trying to simulate in a spooky hallway, a uh, bulb flickering, they got bad bulb. Here's a party, um, disco and party are probably the same thing. And paparazzi looks like uh, camera flashes. So you do have some very cool options there when it comes to trying to set up the mood for a scene. So most of them have that these days and GVMs, 50 RSs are no different. Now, let me reiterate this one more time so you make sure you get what you're paying for. If you get the two pack, you get these really good high quality light stands and you get that gorgeous bag. If you buy one by itself, I'm not sure you get that stuff. According to the website, you just get the light and maybe a little carrying case for the light. So for less money than buying two individual ones, you get all this extra stuff. So it's a great deal. I'll make sure I put a link below. Um, but before that, let me give you some final thoughts of what I think about these lights. So GVM packs a lot of value into this two light kit. For less than 400 bucks, you get two very capable, great looking RGB LEDs that are app controlled and allow you to link together multiple lights, saving you time in your next production. The super professional look will make you feel like a pro every time you turn them on. They do have a couple of silly quirks that could be improved, like a little finer adjustments on the color spectrum and if it remembered the last settings when you powered them on again. But these lights have definitely helped me improve the quality and ease of my filmmaking. And if you're looking for some great RGB studio lights, these might be a great option for you. All right, guys, that is GVM's 50RS RGB LED two-pack light kit with the beautiful bag and the light stands for under $400. There'll be links in the description. Um, those are affiliate links. It does help the channel out. It doesn't cost you any more money. Um, safe to purchase off of Amazon. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these right here. But if you really want to consider supporting the channel, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. It really does help us out here at Unbox Warehouse, and we will see you on the next one.